This is a video response to Macrina. I think I've got the name right. It's the video, uh, I'm responding to the video you made in response to my video about um, the Gaia hypothesis and kind of Medea. I was talking about uh, some problems I had with the Gaia hypothesis. Not, not real problems actually, but um, some slight misgivings I had about what happens when you put a name to a, to a set of ideas. Um, and someone responded to me to my original video referring to Pangaea Process under the name of Pangaea Process blog responded pointing me to, to some really interesting information about this new book called uh, The Medea Hypothesis basically uh, saying that this personification we have of nature being a kind of uh, nurturing mother if you like um, is, is gives the wrong impression of nature and it's not, it would be more accurate if you must use a kind of female um, personification. Medea is probably more accurate. That was the thesis of this particular book that Pangaea Process pointed me to. So I cited both of those, I think, in my video. Uh, and in your uh, video response to me there, um, Macrina, yeah, there were some really interesting things there, actually, I think, for me. I think you rightly point out that um, replacing a a nurturing kind of earth mother myth with a, a dysfunctional abusive earth mother myth is not a positive step in any direction at all really um, I mean it's bad enough having um, saddled I guess womankind generally with the responsibility for personifying the earth without uh, adding the additional burden of making them bad parents at the same time so um, so yeah, I completely take on board what you're saying there. But in a sense, I, 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 I kind of agreed with, the, with you from the first word because I have a problem with personification full stop. As I said in the first video I made in this, in this clump of videos, I can see its, uh, its strategic value in mobilizing certain kinds of emotional responses or, or, or cohering sets of ideas into something that's really easily understandable. But beyond that, I do, I, I'm not that keen on giving things names, really. Um, it's not its not a big deal, it's just an observation. So, uh, so yeah, I would agree with you for all kinds of reasons. But you you do something really interesting, I think, because you, you, you cite this additional myth, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact one you said. I think it was either the um, Jupiter hypothesis, Neptune hypothesis, one of those Greek gods that consumed their children, anyway, and those fantastic images of, of titan figures consuming small, what appear to be children, just horrible graphic images. And I think that's really fantastic. And, you, and you're doing this, this substitution, you're substituting a male um, mythological character for, for, for the, 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 the troublesome female mythological characters that I was playing around with. Uh, but some other interesting transformations, I think, happen at the same time with that. At least they did for me. Um, I mean, the, the same. I have the same problem with personification, whether it's a female figure or a male figure. I should just put that in place to start with. But also, the the, the protagonist seems to change at least when you're talking about, let's call it the uh, Neptune hypothesis. No, it's not Neptune, is it? Let's call it the Saturn hypothesis because I can't remember who it is. I'll just refer to it as Saturn. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But an interesting thing happens in that the protagonist changes. With with Gaia and and Medea, the the key protagonist is the Earth, isn't it? And we are the Earth's children, and and, and kind of, and uh, uh, and all living things are Earth's children, and, and Earth kind of looks after us or is abusive to us, depending on which variant on the myth you look at. But I think with the one that you're citing, the um, Saturnine myth. The protagonist changes. You know, the images that you show of Chernobyl and of, of you know, deforestation and the, the various you know, rapes of the earth that have taken place are it, it's it's the roles are reversed. It's humankind and particularly mankind, I think, fair to say, is is the is cast in the role of the the consumer of the children. So the earth becomes the child in that in that um, reversal, and and. You know, we consume the, the, the well, yeah, the mankind is this, and the parasite that consumes this. I don't know, I get very confused here, but it's, 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 the consuming happens in the other direction anyway. Um, 
But I think there is a way of mobilising that myth mythology, which is, for me, works a little bit, little bit better, which is to do with um, this rather odd feeling that we have as humans, um, which is that we, 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 we do sometimes feel apart from nature. I don't think it's just me that thinks that, maybe it is. But I think most of us do feel apart from nature, not apart of nature, but apart from nature. Um, and there's, you know, there's a lot of history of that kind of notion, isn't there? And it's an, it's an unpopular notion. It's kind of Cartesian, dualist, and all those kind of things. But at the same time, it's, uh, it does seem to be part of our birthright, whether we like it or not. But, uh, but, but, but it, not all of us. You know, we have these you know, higher feelings, or we have these higher aspirations to be something better than we are. But... Um, but our own nature and the point where our nature hits the rest of nature seems sometimes as if it's consuming us. You know, the nature that is our own bodies and the nature that is our own temperaments and our own desires and our own fears and hatreds and joys and and uh, uh, and selfishnesses. And all, you know, all those kind of things that, that, that make us made out of meat, really. Um, which is completely seamlessly integrated into the ecology of the planet in the classical kind of Gaia way, I suppose. But all that nature sometimes feels as if it's consuming this tiny little fragile bit of spiritual, whatever you want to call it, you know, a higher being, thinking thing. You know, so despite our, our aim, our ambitions, and our aims and our intentions now wishes that we could be better people than we are it seems quite often that our bodies and the rest of nature that our bodies are attached to just lets us down you know just lets us down so we do find ourselves committing all kinds of weird atrocities and i'm using the royal we here of course you know we do commit the atrocity that was chernobyl and we do commit the you know the atro literal atrocities against one another and against the planet and against the rest of uh, other living creatures you know, it's almost as if this this nature that we seem to kind of hover slightly above as these rarefied conscious beings, we are whilst we're undoubtedly the children of that nature. You know, our consciousness is a product of the meat and the veg that surrounds us. Um, that uh, that strange dark parent nature, you know, that saturnine figure that is our own bodies and the world, though our which then bodies are lodged does feel like it's trying to consume us sometimes and drag us down to the pit. That's a bit bleak, isn't it? I didn't mean to be that bleak, actually. But, uh, but yeah. Okay, thanks for that.